An experience told by well-known tour operator Annie is resonating after speaking of a plight on Win Media SKN. Speaking on the Island Team Morning Show, Annie expressed the view that she is being excluded from offering her tours, even though she is fully vaccinated, while others are allowed to take cruise passengers on bubble tours from Port Sante. The matter was discussed on radio the day after the September 14th arrival of the first cruise ship to Port Zante since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. It's very upsetting. Here you have Ken Tours. I have nothing against them, mind you. Ken Tours could go on their tour. Same tour that I offer in. I have people like TripAdvisor who book my tours to agents, right? True agent, travel agent, triple advisor, which is a well-known agent. They have travel agent that book their tours. For instance, this morning I had eight persons. I couldn't collect my people. Why? But the train could go and collect their people. Ten tours could go and collect their people. Um, Amanda could go and collect the people. Catamaran could go and collect their people because they say it's in the bubble. Now, what is more risky than a catamaran cruise with all these people on board the catamaran? Going on the tour they talk about is risky. Um, and all of these things they said that it's risky. You have plane coming in, mind you, I am happy for the little one job, the $20 or $30 or $40 I make, mind you. But still, if you say you're in a bubble, you have people coming, they're sending home people, right? To quarantine, there's no security. I, I am one of the persons who know people who have turned off out of quarantine, who are people who have gone to the bank ATM machine. I know that for a fact. I am not, I am not just making up this thing. You understand me? The people I carry, who have gone, not only me, but other taxi drivers who have come out of quarantine just to go to supermarket and go to places. I fully approve. Vaccinated. Fully vaccinated. If you're fully vaccinated, why can't you collect your guests and go on the same bubble tour that Ken Tours is offering, that Amanda is offering? Why can't I collect my people who are pre-booked for months? I pay insurance, a million dollar U.S. insurance. A million dollar U.S. insurance, right? For my tours, so I could do my little business. I hear somebody saying, first that I go and do this and go to... But if that's all what you know is tourism, that's all I work for in my life is tourism. The following day, CEO Raquel Brown of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority was a guest on the same show and responded to the remarks made by Annie. Uh, we are doing our best to really work with our tour operators, our taxi operators and our tour companies to bring them online. And when we get the green light, we're going to incorporate. Uh, it's not our decision to incorporate. We have to work with the task force and the success of what happened yesterday and other uh, ships. Also, there were no tours to Nevis yesterday. Uh, I don't think many persons knew that. Yes, we are included in Nevis, but there were no tours to Nevis yesterday because also uh, some of the tours did not make the requirements for travel approved. So I understand it's very, very hard, and we're working with the Nevis Tourism Authority and the Nevis Island Administration and Ministry of Tourism also. And we are trying, uh, but as I said, we get it. Uh, we know how many persons we used to support. We know who, um, how many were benefiting and how they've established their business and persons wanting to come back to have the experience. We had return guests yesterday. That is the beauty of yesterday. We had return guests. We had guests who wanted to book certain tours with tour operators. That's a great thing for the destination. And I don't mean pre-booked, I mean, independent taxi or tour operators it's just that we're in a weird space where the environment is controlled and, and we are rebuilding and rebuilding sometimes unfortunately does not move at the pace to assist persons when they're in a dire street which is where we are with St. Kitts and Nevis considered a market port in the cruise industry reaching over 1 million cruise passengers per year 
The closure of the industry for almost 15 months is having a toll on income for many citizens and residents. Then back to Portin for SK Newsline.